Stay tuned. Your program will begin shortly. Stay tuned. Your program will begin shortly. Stay tuned. Your program will begin shortly.
Stay tuned. Your program will begin shortly. Roberta Birdie DeFrancis Field on the campus of Weir High School. This is a High Valley Sports Online bringing you a doubleheader. Twice as nice tonight. In the first one, we got Indian Creek Reds Lady Redskins taking on the homestanding Weir High Lady Red Riders. This is Ray Suckoch along with Timmy Provenzano and Danny Vogel. As we continue our trek to try and get caught up, people, we missed a week. We're not dwelling on it. We're well. We're back in action, hoping to dodge the raindrops tonight in this game. Let's turn it over quickly to our High Valley Sports Online baseball and softball analysis. Timmy Provenzano for the Corey Winget pregame report. Thanks. Timmy, thanks, Ray. So I got to, I got when I got here, I got a chance to go over and talk to both coaches and uh, got some information. Um, we'll start with uh, Indian Creek. Indian Creek is five and three. Um, they're fifth in the OVAC standing, so they're knocking on the door um, for that for that fourth spot right now. Um, played yesterday against St. Clairsville. They beat St. Clair Clairsville eleven to one. Um, they're coached by Angie Penner. Uh, and I, she told me I need to give a shout out to their biggest supporter, John Brody. He played baseball for me in Little League. There you go. <laughs> um, some some of the some of their uh, better players is a uh, senior Trinity Taylor. She's going to be pitching tonight. These are all seniors. Uh, second baseman Kylie Dre, and left fielder Erica Gibbons. Uh, shortstop McKenna Scott is um, is also a senior. She's going to be heading to Purdue Fort Wayne. Um, they're highly, she said, she said that they were, they have a lot of veterans, but they, you know, they have some youth with the freshmen and, um, and they are, uh, right now, right, right now they're, uh, right behind in these standings. Like I said, they're right behind Edison. Um, they actually had beat Edison early in the season. They play them here in a week. So it should be a pretty good game coming up. Um, give me a second here. I'll switch over to. We're high. We're, we're high. on the trip there. Yeah, they were down in Tennessee. Yeah, I, they take I a, read that. They take that trip all the time. Um, nice place. I think they go down to the uh, the Ripken tournament. Right, what right, they do. right. Yep. So uh, last year, We're High softball 2023 record. They were 16 and 19. Um, the players they graduated last year were Sof Sophia Aperfine, catcher, first team, all OVAC, all state. Honorable mention, playing softball at West Liberty, Reagan Hoover, center fielder, team OVC, All-State, honorable mention. Riley Donaldson, left fielder, was their number two pitcher. Key returners are Braley Lash, last year All-State, honorable mention, third baseman, moved to center field. Uh, she had a 305 batting average. Raina Hoover, shortstop, batting uh, last year, she had a 275 average. Kylie Dean, utility player. L. Maley, right fielder. Jaden Kelly, left fielder. Eliza Hutt, one pitcher returning from last year after, impressive, after an impressive freshman season, nine wins last season. Brooklyn Hawthorne, I believe she's back now. She, she had been sick. She's playing second base. Um, and Gigi Paladina, third base, played freshman year, but she sat out last year. Um, so uh, freshmen are Bella Weber, plays first base, and Logan Barton is a catcher. Um, remaining roster players for the We Are High Red Riders are Sam Tuno, the outfield, Peyton Northcraft, outfield, Bianca Pittman, soccer player out, out for the first time this year. Good to see, you know, sport athlete trying Absolutely. something new. Coaches are John Leary, Joe Aperfine, Jenna Wilson, Marissa Galliano, first year coach. Jenna and Marissa played for John Leary at Brook when they went to the state championship game. Currently, no seniors on the team. Four girls coming off 
off a state basketball appearance, Raina Hoover, leading scorer, Braley Lash, Eliza Utt, and Bella Weber. So, sounds like it's going to be a good one today, right? No, it's going to be a good one. The High Valley Sports Online, very familiar with these two teams. We get on their bandwagon and we watch them out. We was here a couple times last year. Sure, we was at Creek. You know, they're led by McKenna Scott. And this pitcher on the mound here, uh, Trinity Taylor. Uh, they're 5-3 and three on the year. We expect a good one. This one, this game, as all games, brought to you by Commissioner Eric Timmons, State Farm Agent Casey Johnson, First Westminster Presbyterian Church, m M&M Hardware, Water Transport, Lancia Villa Royale, Friendly Tavern, Viking Social Poker Club, Ross's Mulch and More, Tudor's Biscuit World, Stickles Law Officers, Total Sports Connection, Hoods Pharmacy, Wintersville Trophy Shop, Main Street Bank, Stoomville Country Club with their membership special going on, 50% off, Apollo Restoration, Dr. John Fickle, Naples Spaghetti House, Route 22 Sports Bar, Crazy Mexican Restaurant, Richard Poe Financial Services, Windfall, Miracle Field, we'll be talking to them between games, the O Patio and Club on Lane, the Harp and Habit, Guida Law Offices, Summit Physical Therapy, West Banco, Toronto Lane, Barrel Ford and Toyota, Barium and Chemicals, Uncle Johnny Delivery, Edge Sports, The Electric O, Cedar One Realty, Marcino Enterprises, Steve's Fish and Chips, Trinity Health Systems, TS Electric, Josephine's Carryout. Let's take a quick break. We'll be right back for the opening pitch. Are you looking for a trusted name in residential and commercial real estate? Look no further than Cedar One Realty. Our team of dedicated professionals is here to help you find your dream home or the perfect commercial property. With years of experience and a deep knowledge of the local market, we're the experts you can trust. Cedar One is a full-service brokerage that handles residential, commercial, property management and storage units. Call us today to schedule a consultation and see how we can help you achieve your real estate goals. Cedar One has over 60 agents serving the Ohio Valley. Cedar One Realty, leading the valley in residential and commercial real estate. Visit us online at cedarone-realty.com or stop by our office in Wintersville today. There's a good chance if you're from the Ohio Valley, you remember Brad Pavlik from his days as a crusader at Catholic Central High School. And his name will bring back some great memories. These days, Brad's a big supporter of all area local high school teams. Well, here's a reminder that Brad now manages Barrel Toyota and Barrel Ford. And he'll be glad to see you, whether you're looking for a car or just dropping by to say hello. A hometown favorite at two great hometown stores. Get a hometown deal from Brad Pavley at Barrel Toyota in Cranberry Township and Barrel Ford in Zelianople. All right, we're looking for a good one here. Nice new field here. We've got a doubleheader here. Brook Lady Bruins come into town after this game. Indian Creek, a veteran squad, you know, coming off of uh, Coach Andy Angie Penner. She's assisted by uh, her daddy, Zikowski. Gary Bracone, and aforementioned John Brody. So it looks like we're going to take a quick break here for the national anthem, and we'll be right back with the commissioner, Eric Timmons, opening pitch. This is a High Valley Sports Online. We'll be right back. a fence that has seen better days. How about a new privacy fence? You probably could use a perimeter fence to keep Fido from wandering off. Call Edwards Fence Company now. They do all types of fence projects and have over 20 years of experience. Wood, chain link, vinyl, split rail, aluminum. Call today for a free estimate. Edwards Fence Company, 740-632-8403. Needless to say, you're going to need a new fence around your new swimming pool, too. Call Edwards Fence Company today, a proud sponsor of this broadcast. It's Electric. The Electric O is a family-owned, full-service electrical contracting company that is licensed in Ohio, West Virginia, and PA, but remains community-focused here in our backyard. Dave and Darlo Saba 
are committed to providing service that is family-backed. Whether it's residential or commercial, the Electric O will provide service that will give you peace of mind and even lessen your electric bill. All electrical needs for new construction, remodeling, troubleshooting, whatever it may be, Electric O can do it efficiently. They service one happy customer after another, and for that I can attest. Call Dave Save at Electric O, 304-670-8277. Are you looking for encouragement? Join our First West family for an uplifting message of hope. Whether you're looking for a thriving youth program, an inspiring Bible study, or a senior community group, there is a place for you at First West. Sunday morning worship in Children's Church begins at 1045. Stay connected with us. Follow us on Facebook or visit our website, firstwestminster.org. We hope to see you soon. Others. Hertz and Thrifty Car Rental and Auto Detailing located on Sunset Boulevard in Steubenville can offer you car rentals and auto detailing. Have you been in an accident, have a business trip, or just need a vacation? We have all sizes of cars to get you safely back on the road and to your destination. Is your car filled with french fries or Cheerios from hauling the kids around? Is the salt and dirt from the winter weather driving you crazy? We are here to help you get your car looking like new with our auto detailing. This is your detailing package. We offer wash, wax, steam, clean, and buff. You can also get a gift certificate for detailing. Stop in or call us today. 740-283-2277. That's Calling all sports fans looking for the ultimate game day experience. Check out the O, Patio and Pub on Lane, your go-to spot for pregame excitement. It's a five-minute walk from the iconic OSU football stadium and the Schottenstein Center. Join us for the best pregame parties for football, basketball, and concerts. Enjoy the best wood-fired pizza and marinated baked, then deep-fried wings with all your favorite sauces. Our rich history in Ohio State's campus and culture spans 30 years with a deep-rooted love for home reflected in our logo featuring the star of Steubenville. So whether you're visiting family, catching up with friends, or heading to an event around OSU, stop by the O Patio and Pub on Lane. Embrace the spirit of the valley and the thrill of the game with us. We are proud supporters of all Ohio Valley sports teams, so visit us at 123 Lane Avenue, Columbus. This broadcast is brought to you by Ohio Valley Sports Online, your sports authority. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and get instantly notified when we go live on our next broadcast only on Ohio Valley Sports Online. Oh, we're back here. Roberta Birdie DeFrancis Field. Tonight's umpire is behind the dish. Paul, they call him H.C. Duffy. And George... Brandenburg. 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 Yep. George Brandenburg. Big Paul Duffy, hard worker. Won't retire. He got two years to go to retirement. <laughs> you know, so we're going to say, but I'm going to tell you something, Timmy. Um, on your pre Corey pregame, uh, Corey wins your pregame report. You know, you noted some of the Indian Creek players. And I believe this one coming up here, McKenna Scott, I think she's a D1 player. Yeah, she's going to Purdue, I'm sorry, Purdue Fort Wayne next year. You know, and uh, we we got a chance to see her in basketball. Uh, she, super player, super player, lead off here, shortstop. I want to remind everybody, High Valley Sports Online, busy schedule. Hope we don't get no rain. We're dancing through the raindrops tomorrow. Big Red at Brook Baseball. Thursday at Vaquero Field, the legendary Vaquero Field, Shady Side Tigers come to town. So we got the commissioner, Eric Timmons, opening pitch here. I showed Bunt right away. I thought she was going to slap Bunt there. Third baseman came in. Left hander on the mound. Liza Ut. Pitches and bats first. She's bringing it to me. Yes, she is. 
Nice field here. They opened it last year, I believe. Finally making, you know, coming around and making some adjustments. Yeah, it's, it's good for everybody. It's with this weather in early March and in April, you almost any, have any, to. Any, any more, I don't know how you can go without it. Indian Creek coming in at five and three. Kenneth Scott's gonna get a base on balls. Get things going here for the Redskins. Tonight's starting lineup is brought to you by Cedar One Realty. Our good buddy Joey Lacchino batting second. Kylie Dre, the third baseman. Swing and a miss. Gary Bracone at first base. And maybe head coach Angie Penner's at third. I didn't see a little bit blocked out from that. Bunt foul. I was wondering if they were going to go ahead and square up their over. Squared up kind of early on that, and Eliza threw the ball at her head. It's a good move. Pitch. That's an electric O strikeout right there, one down. Bradley Sadler, another basketball player for Coach Steve F. Lies to throw from the left side. Runner, hitter. Uh, hitter. Hit by pitch. That's what you call taking one for the team, that, right, absolutely. Timmy? Absolutely, yeah. She didn't even she didn't try to get out of the way of that one. Trinity Taylor, the pitcher here, 17, batting in the four hole. I like that two bases at first base. I like that a lot, Timmy. Yeah. Safety it, factor. It, it absolutely protects the, the girl's legs and especially his heels. You see that a lot in baseball. Nice pitch. Trinity Taylor. Third baseman's up still a little bit, just in case. Good nice pitch. pitch. You got one out, runners at first and second. Just a little bit late on that. Fouled it off down the first baseline. Oh, and two. See if she throws her change up here. Down just a little bit. Good pitch, though. Well, to me, you know, that reminds me right there of uh, what we talked about last night, the game yep. where, you know, like every umpire is different, what pitches yep. they're given, and players got to adjust. Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be out of play right through right first base side. Thrown back in. She's been a little bit late on her, so Eliza must be bringing it a little bit. Yeah, I like what that's doing though. She she's got she had a one two count and she's keeping the ball off the plate. She's really not trying to put something down the middle, just working the corners. Maintain the contact, Timmy, but don't look good contact no, though. So late. Advantage pitcher. Here. Side Valley Sports Online bringing you the first of two games tonight. Trying to make up for lost time here. Mother Nature got to us a little bit. Another one. And again, tell you what, good at bat though. She's 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 Staying working. Alive. Yeah, she Staying is. Staying alive. Trying to get that timing down. Is there a pitch count in softball, Timmy? No, nah, I mean they count them, but really doesn't matter. Up high. It's a great thing about softball. You know, these girls can, can pitch day in and day out. Yeah, that's a more uh, natural movement. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. What do they call that? Kinesiology. Mm -hmm. Oh, good pitch. And the inner half. 
Okay, we got a Mario's Italian restaurant visit to the mound. Say hello to our good buddy, Andy Carlo, down there at Mario's. Also, weather's breaking here, people. You got to check out the Stoonville Country Club membership rates. I mean, they're practically giving memberships away up there. Golf memberships, pool memberships, 50% off. Tell them you heard it here on the High Valley Sports Online as Trinity Taylor, Timmy, stays alive. I'm telling you, this is a great at bat. I mean, it was 0-2. She's worked the count to 3-2 now. Fouled another one off. No matter how you look at it, no matter what happens here, it's a, it's a very good at bat. How you like that? Not um, one to give in, either one, neither pitcher nor batter. I'll tell you what's changed in that is she actually fouled that one straight back. So yeah. that means she's on she's on her now. That's what I figured. She's got her timing. Me. Yeah, you gotta get that timing down now. All these all these hacks she's taking. Another yeah. one. Wow. Straight back again. We got Bella Weber at first defensively. Brooklyn Hawthorne at second. Raina Hoover at short. And Gigi Palladini at third. Brady Lash moves to center field. Another foul ball. What an at bat. From third base last year, Brady Lash, the versatile athlete. She moves to center field. El Mulry is in right. And Jaden Kelly is in left. Cedar One Realty opening starting lineup. Base hit right is. field. How do you like that? Yep. Right past the outstretched arm of Arthur. And a runner going to hold a third. Dove back in. So we get a single. What an at bat. That was yeah, just absolutely. such a good at bat. She, had no, she was nowhere near on that ball when that at bat started, Timmy. Nope. But boy, all them foul offs, man. She got her timing down and right past the outstretched arms of Hawthorne at second base. Base is jammed here. Going to bring up Emma Volk, the first baseman. First base up. Spin oh, on my. It. That's going to be a fair ball. Yeah. Yep, tough. That's a tough play to make right there. That ball had it had spin on it. it, it to be honest, probably the best move she could have done right there is let that ball go foul because it was going to go absolutely. foul. Absolutely. I was going to say that, Timmy. I mean, just for the mere fact of that ball is going to bounce Let's once see. and spin yep. out of bounds. Spin out of bounds. Nobody yep. hurt. Foul. Yep. Okay, advantage Indian Creek here in the five hole. Kirsten Dorsey, second baseman, gets hit. Going to bring in another run. So she took one for the team. Got herself an RBI, Tim. Yep, that hit by pitch this inning. All you're really working on here now, if you're weird, is just try to get an out. You got bases loaded still. So Sadler, Sadler's in. And she really hasn't been hit hard. It's just no. she kind of got herself in a little bit of trouble. Erica Gibbons, the left fielder. And number 15, bases still loaded here. Opening inning, this first inning brought to you by Guida Law Offices. Our good buddy Danny Guida, alumni of Weir High School. First inning brought to you by Guida Law Offices. Swing and a miss. A little bit late on that swing. Squares a bunt. Shows That's bunt, a good bunt. It. Got her at home. Got her at home. Good play. Okay, you got the fielder's choice. Taylor's out. Now One to two. Yeah, you know, on, on that on that bunt there, coach, I think you, you want that either down the first baseline or the third baseline, and, and she kind of just left it out in front of the plate. You know, it's a little bit different with softball. They, they don't get the lead off, and... I mean, they have to wait till the ball passes, so. Too easy of a play yeah. defensively. Yep, unless you get it up the lines. We had the center fielder up, fouls one off here. I didn't get Cadence's last name. Did they announce it? I didn't, I didn't see it. Swing and a miss. 
Lewis. Well, I tell you what, if I, I don't know if the catcher looked down at first. That was a hefty, hefty secondary down at first base. Two outs, though, so two, two outs. I, I don't know if they throw down there and throw behind the runner, but. Cadence Walker. Well, Indian Creek missed an opportunity there, Tim, to get another run on yes, that. Yes, they bug, did. Man. Yeah. Oh, my. Yeah, it's just something you have to really work on in practice. We, we get, as I did it myself as a coach sometimes. You get involved in other things. You forget about the small things sometimes. And in a situation like this, a bunt, you know, down the line, probably scored another run. So Bouncer back to Great the pitcher. Play. That's how you Good defend play. your position right there. Okay, Indian Creek gets two in this half inning of the Guida Law Office's first inning. We'll be right back. The Target Shop has all your fall sports needs. Shop local and get all your school spirit gear, fan wear, and everyday apparel. Support your locally owned Target Shop. The Target Shop offers new designs weekly. Stop in soon. Center Strength and Wellness Center is a training facility for both athletes and non-athletes and is located inside the Blue Wave Center in Fallersby, West Virginia. Pete and Ralph have over 10 years experience working at the Division I college level and will create programs to suit clients of all ages while addressing the individual and specific needs and goals of each and every client they work with. Follow Cinna on Facebook and Instagram get started on a healthier you today. Are you looking for personalized care to help you recover from an injury or surgery? Look no further than Summit Physical Therapy. With a focus on individualized treatment and compassionate care, our team is dedicated to helping you achieve your recovery goals. Whether you're seeking relief from pain, recovering from a sports injury, or aiming to improve your mobility, Summit Physical Therapy is here for you. We have five locations to serve you. Chester, Fallensby, New Cumberland and Weirton, announcing a grand opening of a new location in Toronto February 12th. At Summit Physical Therapy, we take pride in delivering one-on-one -on -one and personal care. Okay, we're back here, Ohio Valley Sports Online, bringing you softball action, where Ohio jumps out to a 2-0 lead here. I mean, Indian Creek did in the, their half of the inning. It's Ray Sukkot along with Timmy Provenzano, Danny Vogel, as we're high, Lady Red Riders come up to bat. Eliza Utt leads off, followed by Brayley Lash, Arena Hoover in the three spot, Kylie Dean four, Bella Weber five, six hole Ella L. Maury, Gigi Paladina at seven, Logan Barton eight, Brooklyn Hawthorne nine, and Jaden Kelly batting ten. Getting ready to go here, Timmy, for we're high second half. Made a nice swing down um, south. I really like that. Shows you a commitment to baseball, to softball. Taking your team down there. You played six games oh, down absolutely. there. Absolutely. Then yep. Ripken Fields. Well, I tell you what, when I was at Weir, we we brought we went on the trip with them. And, and you know, the, the girls just, it's a great bonding experience. And, and they, they do a lot together when they're down there. And, and you know, you that's, that's something that, that sense of team, you know. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, Indian Creek, right to left, Voke at first, Dorsey at second, Scott the shortstop, and the third baseman, Dre, in the outfield, Gibbons in left, Walker in center, and Duke in right, Trinity Taylor on the bump, and Riley Sadler behind it, the dish. Lies up, we're high pitcher, batting first, left-handed side. And Trinity Taylor pitch, and, and she had that great at bat in the first top of the first inning. She did. You know, I love softball. I love how these third basemen come about halfway in, and you know. I'd like to see some of the boys do that. <laughs> I'll tell you, I was just going to say that when in my days of baseball, I was a third baseman at times, and when there was a left-handed batter up, my coach had me up like that, and I'm yeah. saying to myself, come on, man, this ball's <laughs> going to come off the bat right at me, 
I hope yep. my reactions are in working today. Yep. Play that third baseman up, pull it up. Trinity Taylor. Ball four, lead off lock. That's what you want base if you're weird high when you get down. Brady Lash. Dave Ryder's granddaughter. Dave Ryder from his days at Brook. Football basketball coach. That's five straight. She's struggling a little bit to find the zone. Coach Ape will find coach in third base. Sure, he's probably got her taken. That's that's now six in a row. Or no, that was a strike there. Yeah, strike yeah. there. Third baseman up, everybody okay, everybody else okay. The infield for Creek. Outfield straight away. Dan Vogel spinning the dial. <laughs> Pitches up just a little bit. It's two, 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 two count. See if Hutt's ready to run. Brayley Lash, good contact hitter. Fouls it off. Trinity Taylor, Timmy, just trying to find herself here. Yep. Yeah, she's Can't get that release point together. Struggle with the first batter. She's doing a little bit better here at the number two batter. Worked a full count. Outfielders deep. We're That's swinging with three. the electric yeah. O. Got the electric O strikeout. <laughs> the shortstop batting three. Swing and a miss. Probably something you don't want to do right there. Pitcher having a hard time finding the strike zone. Help him out. Oh, Denny. And she's struggling. Make her throw strikes. Runner. Then there's second base. Good run. Stolen base. Ex excellent movement. A little technical difficulty. I was trying to get on Game Changer, and I, I I know the Game Changer guy, and it wouldn't allow me in, so I had to become a fan to get in there. So that's it. Ray, Ray over here, he does the old school book. I go by Game Changer. <laughs> Everybody, I, I kept a book. I kept a book for uh, my grandson last year, and his you every game i'm keeping the book i'm keeping the book i'm looking around and guys got it on their phone i'm saying what well, you got me in here well, you got me in here keeping the book for everybody's got it on their phone they said, nothing wrong want, with that we just want you sitting in the dugout I said, okay. <laughs> swing and a miss the electric go strikes back got two here big Dave saber So Trinity Taylor, who started out a little shaky, comes back with two strikeouts. He's done a great job. Me. Great job battling back. Kylie Dean, designated player in the four spot. 
And Coach, like I said, they're playing awfully deep in that outfield. Wind's kind of blowing in a little bit, too, from right field. Boy, it looked like um, Trinity Taylor had a little juice on that one. Overpowered the batter a little bit. It's down just a little bit. Good pitch, though. Paul Duffy behind the dish. This down. A little bit different strike zone than what we saw yesterday. Yep. Absolutely. Brody Saunders from St. Clairsville pitches the no no. I think he had three walks. High Valley Sports Online. Proud to see that game. Just missed outside on that one. 3 2 count, coach. Two outs. I'm pitching. I'm not giving her nothing, anything too nice to hit. Nah. I know that. Got a base open over there. Absolutely, yep. man. Don't give her nothing to hit. Make her swing at something bad. Test her discipline. Kylie Dean, test her discipline. Make sure she lays off that bad pitch. Leave it to Bella Weber. And yeah, nothing hurt with a walk here. Okay. Now batting number 15, Bella Weber. Yeah, and like I said, that, that kind of opens up the, the bases. You know, you got an out at, at any of the three bases out there. Bella Weber, the first baseman, left-hander. Got first and second here in this bottom of the first inning brought to you by Guida Law Offices. And a strike to start her off. Like at location. Busting her outside. You don't like this old school me doing the book, huh, Timmy? I do. No, I do. <laughs> I, do. I do. I always, to be very honest with you, I always had somebody in the dugout doing it as well. Even though Game Changer took precedence, but I had them in the book as well. Yeah, student goal of the league. They give me a T-shirt this year to keep the book. I said, <laughs> I'll take the T-shirt, but I saw you guys last year on that game changer. Oh, ah, the the electric go ranger up there looking let's go. Get at the end of one. On, go. Two nothing, Creek. We'll be right back. Okay, so where do you go for fish during Lent? Why, Steve's Fish and Chips, of course. Great fish sandwiches and excellent fish junks. Oh, and shrimp, too, plus an assortment of sides. It's great during Lent, but Steve's Fish and Chips is an excellent choice any time. They have burgers, chicken wings, and salads, too. You've got to try the fried pickles. Steve's Fish and Chips. Call today and order 740-282-3261. 740-282-3261. Are you looking for the ultimate sports connection? Look no further than Total Sports Connection. We've been in business since 1995, providing the best in screen printing, sports equipment, and fundraising opportunities. Our selection of cutting-edge sports clothing is second to none, with various different brands to choose from. And if you're looking for custom products for your team and fan, we've got you covered. So whether you're a coach, a player, or a fan, come visit us at 104 South Zane Highway in Martins Ferry. Or give us a call at 7. All right, we're back here. The second inning brought to you by the Miracle Field. We'll hear a lot about that as we move on tonight. Somebody, somebody a little bit associated with that is on here. Former Akron Zip, Wintersville Warrior. Bouncer back to the mound. We'll get one quick one. Timmy, get that game changer now. I got gotcha. you. I'm over here messing around, I gotcha. so I ain't going to be able to. 
keep the book. <laughs> Mike Orbovich, Akron Zips. Mike, a little bit about windfall. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing these days, buddy. Well, we are a uh, fundraising specialist company, and we help good causes such as the Miracle League Field of the Northern Ohio Valley raise funds for uh, worthy causes. And uh, that's that's what we're doing here. And uh, for uh, Tom Way, the director of the Miracle League Field of the Northern Ohio Valley Panhandle. Yeah, we're going to get a little, we're going to get to talk to everybody tonight throughout this game. Um, but tell us a little bit about uh, windfall and, and some of the things that you do, Mike. I know base hit. Yeah, and to get Byer out there, Timmy. Yeah. That's McKenna. Three. three. It might be three. She can motor. Hold it, yep. My goodness, she runs like me, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Got some wheels. Almost sent her home, didn't they? Yep. So, Michael, tell us a little bit about Windfall. I know you've been doing it forever, man. You got uh, you got offices all over the world. <laughs> you know, you're based in uh, Richfield, Ohio, I believe. Yes, up, up north of Akron, south of Cleveland. How would you get involved in, in this uh, wonderful project, this miracle field, Mike? Well, uh, it was through our local rep. Michael Florak, who uh, uncovered the opportunity and spoke with Tom Way, and Tom has a pretty aggressive uh, goal that he needs to reach, and we um, we already made a lot of significant progress, and uh, nice hit, wow. to help reach his goal. Braley Lash at the wall, but Kenneth Scott's going to tie and score. That's exactly what you want right there, just a deep fly ball to score on the third. So Mike, that that that's your that's your entire uh, that's the focus of what you guys are doing with the Miracle Field. You're assisting them in their attempt to uh, raise some money for their project, which is going to be a brook. Yes, it is. And our special niche is we help uh, with donor fatigue. A lot of organizations are uh, called up on many nonprofits to to uh, donate to, and you you know as a business, you can only donate to so many. They, they said Creek got it going. Hey, well, hey, Michael, uh, uh, when you call that donor fatigue, what's that about? Guys are just tired of giving? <laughs> <laughs> no, they want to give. It's just there's so many worthy causes you know, in any particular town from all the, you know, schools, clubs, Boy Scouts, Little League, it goes on and on. So we, uh, we are an expense management firm. That's our roots. So what we do is we go into business and look at their utilities, look for overbillings in their uh, invoices and get them refunds that they didn't know about. And then they, in turn, give a percentage of that to the Miracle League field. I like that attitude. Everybody wins on that. Everybody wins. Is there, is there a uh, – when, when you talk about donations, Mike, is there an advantage to a business giving to a nonprofit than giving to something else? Yeah, it's a tax write-off for sure. Um and then I think it's nice for some businesses. There are sponsorship opportunities, depending on the level of uh, donation. All right, man. I want to introduce you to our newest sponsor, Michael Orbovich, former Wintersville Warrior, Akron Zip, Fear the Room. <laughs> We're good in everything except football, brother. Yeah, I know. We're trying. Had a good basketball season. Nice little run. MAC champions. So, but uh, we got to get that football program turned around. Soccer, soccer has always been our sport. That's though. right. That's for I sure. I remember when I was at Akron, man, <laughs> it was the first time in my life I ever saw guys from Africa and stuff. They had them on the soccer team. They brought them from Kenya and stuff, and they were stars. You know, Akron's won a national championship, Danny. Danny Vogel, don't be looking at me like that from McKee's Rocks over there. <laughs> he went to somewhere like Edinburgh or something like that. You know what I mean? But, Heck of uh, a baseball player back in his time, wasn't he? Yeah, they called him the natural. Yeah, number nine, Mr. Hobbs. I remember him, though, one night on McKnight Road, though, man. We don't want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Michael Warbovich from Windfall can introduce us to some uh, Miracle League people who we're going to continue to talk to throughout the game, Mike. All Thanks for coming on, buddy. Good I catching up with you guys. It. Absolutely. Good job. Bye. Michael and Orbovich give us a little introduction on what we're going to do tonight. We're going to bring on Tom Way, big Tom Way here from the Miracle Field. Where's he at, Michael? 
All right, when he comes back, we will. So what we got, we got McKenna Scott, what'd she do, triple? McKenna Scott, triple, yep. And she and scored, got, right? Yep. McKenna Scott. Dre out on sacrifice, Sadler singles, and Taylor walked. Got to balk up the bat right now. Two outs, runner at first and second. See, there's game changer for you, Ray. I'm glad you got it, brother. We're going to need it because I'm going to do these interviews. I can't do two things at the same time. I struggle. The Indian Creek's taking charge. You're up 3-0 here in the second inning. Brought to you by the Miracle Field. Okay. And we got the electric go back in action as Emma Vogt goes down. Okay, at the end of one and a half, 1-3-0, Indian Creek. We'll be right back. When you're having people over or you're just hungry and you don't want to leave the house, call Uncle Johnny. Locally owned and operated, Uncle Johnny has been delivering food on both sides of the river for over 15 years. Uncle Johnny was the area's first online third-party restaurant delivery service. Capri, Ruby's Pizza, Sesame Grill are a few of the options for you. View a menu from all participating restaurants and place an online order at UncleJohnny's.com. Try it tonight. Uncle Johnny delivers right to your door. Uncle Johnny's is a proud sponsor of this broadcast. Are you looking for a fun and exciting way to spend your evenings? Look no further than the Viking Social Poker Club. We're the Ohio Valley's premier poker club, and we're open to the public every day. Come join us for our weekly tournament every Tuesday at 6 p.m. for just $45. You'll get 30,000 chips to start with, and the chance to win big. And don't keep this a secret. Let your friends know about the fun. So what are you waiting for? Come on down to the Viking Social Poker Club in Steubenville and see what all the fuss is about. We can't wait to see you there. Are you craving a juicy steak or a hearty burger? Look no further than the Ville Restaurant and Bar. Our family-owned restaurant has been serving American and Italian fare since 1996. From homemade soups to char-grilled steaks, we have something for everyone. Dine in or carry out. Lunch and dinner served all day. Visit us at 100 Mall Drive, Steubenville. Cheers to good food and great company. All right, we're back here. We got Tom Way with us from the Miracle League. You on the air, Tommy? I am. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Tommy, we got the hall. We we got, got a chance to talk to you a little bit about it, but this whole miracle uh, league thing, I know it's been a passion of yours for so many years. You know, you finally found a home uh, oh, sure. with Brook. We did. Um, Brook City Schools. Tell us a little bit about the miracle league first, and then secondly, tell us about how you got associated with the Brook School System. Sure. Uh, what we're looking to do is serve over 15,000 individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities that are often forgotten. Uh, one of the big gaps is recreation for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. So Miracle League Baseball is specific to those individuals that have intellectual, developmental, and physical disabilities. We're also building a inclusive accessible playground it's categorized as a destination playground. It'll be in the top 1% of the country. And that playground will be accessible and inclusive to all people, regardless of their age or ability. Tom, um, is there any ages on the kids that are involved in this age limitation? No, there's really not. Um, much like you have Little League Baseball, our field is a turf field we're looking to have a 200 foot um outfield fence uh miracle league baseball has a 125 feet fence so we'll have a collapsible 125 foot fence for those individuals um that play miracle league baseball however because our primary fence will be 200 feet we'll also be able to accommodate t-ball as well as girls softball if they if 
the community needed to utilize another field would be available for that as well. That's great. Uh, Tom, we know we talked to Michael about the fundraising effort, so it is uh, it is based on uh, uh, donor contributions here. Correct. How did you get involved, Tom, with the Brooks School System? Well, th I mean, I know Mike was here, and I, got, I do have to give a shout-out to Windfall. Um, they've been an, an integral player um, in our fundraising efforts and have just done a fa fantastic job. Um, I can't speak about their business. I'm not, I'm not part of that, you know, but I do want to give a shout out and thank them as well. Um, the way it actually was through a relationship with um, Windfall that we were introduced to Brooke, um, who's looking to make some improvements. And it turned out that Brook County Schools is close to a 24% enrollment in special education. And that is an exceptional uh, percentage of students. But it Brooke, sure is. It sure is. Yeah. Brooke has um, really done an exceptional job with their special education program where schools will contract out for support services. Brooke has those support services on staff. One of the components that they were missing was recreation, so it really became kind of a great pairing for us specializing in recreational opportunities and with the structure of their special education department that they already have. It's a beautiful thing you got going on, Tom. You know, we appreciate the time that, uh, that you take to come over and uh, let the people know about what you're going on and your support of Ohio Valley Sports Online. Oh, I appreciate you, you guys so having me. Hey, thanks, guys. That's Bye. Tom Way for the Miracle League that we'll be talking about as we move forward uh, throughout the summer and help their endeavors the best we can. We got two electric go strikeouts here. That's three. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna finish up with this miracle league as we get we the law offices. <clears throat> Timmy, tell us that inning real quick. So let's see here. Maley grounded out to the shortstop. Scott for the first out. Paladina struck out swinging, and Barton struck out looking. Backwards K. So do up for the Indian Creek Redskins is going to be Dorsey, Gibbons, and Walker. Yeah, we're moving into the third inning here. Third inning brought to you by Windfall. Mike Orbovich, the Windfall Company. Tell you what, Ray, that just listening to that is just it's good stuff. I mean, I have two kids that go to Brook County Schools, and and it's you know for that I like that he said yeah, collapsible fence. They're thinking about in that community uh, a playground you know i mean it, it's just it's so, so good for our valley to have something Ab like that coming absolutely in. this tom way has been on this uh, tom way's been on this uh, miracle league project for a lot of years okay we talked about yeah. we introduce everybody here to eric schmidt CEO and founder of the Playground Equipment Services, that are going to design this park. It broke Eric. Want to thank you for coming on. We appreciate your time. Uh, happy to be here, man. It's and awesome. Tell us a little bit about. Um, tell us a little bit about what you're doing uh, in association with the Miracle Field, which is an outstanding project. We're proud to mention. And I, I love working with these uh, the Miracle League Foundations. We do Miracle League fields all over the country. And uh, through some of the friends we made there, I got introduced to Tom and, you know, got a, a, an idea that this, just the scope of his project is absolutely astounding. I mean, the benefits it's going to bring not only to the kids in the community, but the community in this entire region as a whole. It's so exciting to be a part of something that's really to this scale. It is. It's a, it's a great thing. I mean, uh, it's a, an inclusive thing, you know what I mean, uh, to involve so many kids. And I was astounded by the number that it can serve just in Brook County. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, and, and the thing about it is, you know, kids and community getting to play together regardless of your abilities. Absolutely. So having an area, uh, an area, an opportunity for everybody, it's, it, it's just fantastic what these guys are able to do. Is that the is that the goal of of, uh, of what you guys do when you come in with the equipment to make even the equipment inclusive to have multi purposes? Oh, ab 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 absolutely, absolutely. So we're 
the, it's, it's a great opportunity for kiddos that may have uh, special needs and kiddos that are typically developing to be able to play together, to be able to build friendships, to be able to build relationships, you know, peer-to-peer, peer-to-peer play. And just it just helps make the community stronger. It makes it, you know, everybody feel better, you know, and, and uh, a place where you, 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 your family, you may have two or three traditional developing uh, kids and a sibling that may have a disability. Where And it's an opportunity to have a place where everybody can go together. I love the idea, man, and I love the thing just mentioning uh, – the fact of the community. Anything, anytime something benefits the community, it makes us all better. Yeah, what these guys are doing here in, in, in Brook County, as far as just the scale and the scope of it, is above and beyond what anybody else has done today. It is really exciting to be a part of something this fantastic. Well, I appreciate you so much for coming on. Thanks for taking the time, and I wish you well in all your work, what you're doing no, here. Thank you. All right. Thank you, sir. Have a good one. Have a good one. Okay, that was the CEO of the Playground Equipment Services. That was Eric Schmidt. So we got all three parties here. You got Mike Gorbovich, you got Tom Wayne, you got Eric Schmidt involved. And um, Mike Gorbovich of Windfall is our newest sponsor. We want to thank you for coming, buddy. I really appreciate it. All right, thank you. Thank you. Big Indian Creek guy. That's one of Jim, that's one of Jim Abrams. He's Jimmy Abrams' boy. All right, we're back to baseball here. Got to get you caught up, Ray. Dorsey popped out to Brooklyn Hawthorne for the first out. Gibbons is now at bat. We got the electric O back in action with that strikeout of Eric Gibbons. So, uh, Ella Ut trying to here down three nothing. We're high in this top of the third inning, brought to you by Windfall. Going to bring up Cadence Walker, the center fielder. She bounced back to the pitcher first time up. Bouncer third base, Good nice play. play. Oh, nice play. beautiful. What was that? Pavadina, G G G. Ina makes the play. So at the end of two and a half, three nothing Creek. We'll be right back. For the most comprehensive diagnostic testing in the Ohio Valley, visit www.thewellnessway.com. Are you tired of lugging heavy water bottles from the store to your home? Look no further than Water Transport in Hopedale, Ohio. For over 36 years, we've been providing premium quality water to the tri-state region. Our team is dedicated to delivering fresh, clean water right to your doorstep. With our reliable and efficient service, you'll never have to worry about running out of water again. Call us today at 740-264-9999 to schedule your delivery and experience the convenience of water transport. You know, now's the time of year to reward your young athlete for a job well done. At the Wintersville Trophy Shop, they have all you need for your special athlete, like trophies, plaques, and ribbons for every sport. The Wintersville Trophy Shop, 756 Main Street in Wintersville, 740-266-6905. Call today. All right, we're back here at the Roberta Birdie de Francis Field. Back to business here as Trinity Taylor comes on. Tell you what, Coach, she's settled in yes, she since has. that first inning. She is at 36 total pitches, 23 of them have been strikes with five strikeouts right now. You really settled in after somewhat of a shaky start. You know, didn't give up no runs and got some strikeouts, but got a little bit of help, too. It's like, Working on, uh, she got five Ks. Five Ks, you know, yep. So uh, Trinity Taylor, she's humping it out there, I'll tell you that. At Brooklyn Hawthorne at, at bat here. Second baseman Hawthorne, first time up. Ball high. Good to be back out, people. Glad that you're watching and listening in here. High Valley Sports Online. We're back in action. Got a slow start due to the weather. We told you that we got a full schedule this week. Got a doubleheader tonight with the Lady Bruins from Brook High coming in. Take on the Lady Red Riders in the second game of this 
doubleheader. Pop up, straight up. Good Taylor job. takes charge. Yeah, that's a great job taking charge of that. I like it. Yep. That would have been a tough play for the catcher. She wouldn't, wouldn't be able to get herself back around to it. And that ball's tailing away from her anyways. Got the guys up. She walked on four pitches in the first inning. The pitcher for Weir High, a Lady Riders. From the left-handed side of the plate, Taylor delivers. Good hard pitching. Yeah, it was. I'm strike. telling you what, she's really settled in. Yeah. Looks like she's throwing a little bit harder, a little bit more confidence. Bouncer. His bobble wow. still makes the play. No, beats it out. She got down that line. She sure did. So we get an E4. That's a base runner, though. Dorsey, one bobble, but up was down the line. Brings on Brady Lash, the center fielder. She struck out first time. Nice pitch. Liner back to the mound. Taylor gets it, makes Great the play, play, stayed with it. I tell wow. you what, that knocked her off, Coach. Wow. That was the back so hard it knocked her glove off. She recollected herself and got the out of first base. Great play. For the second out, Ut moves the second. But, boy, Timmy, what reaction is Angie Penner and Mario's Italian restaurant going to make a trip to the mound and check her out, check her bare hand here. I thought she hit her glove, though, Timmy. Didn't it, it did. It, not, it hit her glove and knocked it right off. Wow. Brady Lash hit a rocket. Great Man, reaction to that, though. Yeah, absolutely. Raina Hoover, the shortstop, in the three-hole. Oh, Can sorry. Scott get trouble. it? Nice play. Kenneth Scott over the shoulder catch to retire. At the end of three, three nothing, Creek. We'll be right back. Are you looking? Are you looking for a fun and exciting way to spend time with your friends and family? Look no further than Toronto Lanes. Our state-of-the-art bowling alley is the perfect place to bowl a few games, enjoy some delicious food, and make memories that will last a lifetime. The staff is always friendly and helpful, and the lanes are always in great condition. Plus, the food is amazing. Whether you're a seasoned bowler or just looking for a fun night out, Toronto Lanes has everything you need. We offer leagues for all ages and skill levels, as well as open bowling and cosmic bowling on the weekends. The atmosphere is fun and welcoming, and the prices are unbeatable. So, what are you waiting for? Grab your friends and head to Toronto Lanes today. Toronto Lanes, where the fun never stops. Uh, we're back here, High Valley Sports Online, proud to bring you high school sports, all sports. Tonight we get a doubleheader here at Roberta Birdie de France's brand new field over here at Weir High. This fourth inning brought to you by Route 22 Sports Bar. Great 3 nothing, Timmy. Tell you what, they've, they've had some timely hits and, and, you know, just in the right time. Couple, uh, some walks, and they've taken advantage of it. This looks like it'd be a, a right fielder. First time up, Aaliyah Duke. Uh, they, they, the only time it's been in trouble is when she's kind of gotten some walks. Trying to hang tough here. 
Down three, nothing. Pop a four. Pop foul, left. Out of play. Like PT dropped his lineup card there. 2-1 count. Even the count up to 2-2. Two -two. Up to first baseman, Bella Weber makes the play. Okay, make quick work of here. Get that first one. Here's McKenna Scott. She's got two runs, two hits. Excuse me, she was on the walk and tripled. Division one player. She's only a junior. I wouldn't be surprised to me if that uh, changes. That's very true. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, she is a good basketball player with a whole year to go in, in uh, softball, a year and a half with the summertime. She may play herself into a bigger school here. Get a chance to interview her a couple times after basketball. Nice young lady. Good athlete. Yeah, you can just see it. She, you know, Santi Carducci, former St. Anthony Hawk. That's his granddaughter, I believe. And the late Carol Carducci. Slap it. And she's trying to get on that third baseline. That's just confidence. And she's comfortable in there. She sure is. She plays with a lot of confidence. Plays basketball with even more confidence, I'll tell you. Ball to the hole, handling the ball. I love her as a player, man. Aggressive swing. That ball is up. She, she, she's... she's she wants to hit. That's that's what I like about her. She she's getting up there. She that that might have been ball two or ball three right there. Jimmy, I know Jimmy DiCarlo always raved about her fielding. The ever present John Brody down the right field line. Swing and a miss. The electric go is in action. Now batting, number 12, Kylie Dre. Kylie Dre, she struck out. The electric go got her. Yeah, Coach Penner made it a point to, to say that John Brody's her biggest supporter. Big John, he's vocal, I know that. Nice pitch. And now, that little groove going here, Timmy, last two pitches. Got it and threw it. That's what I like, man. I like when a pitcher gets it and throws it, man. Uh, the electric goes back in action. The end of three and a half, three nothing, Indian Creek. This is a high valley sport. TS Electric is a leading electrical contracting firm with offices located in Richmond, Ohio, providing a spectrum of electrical service commercial and residential clients throughout Ohio, West Virginia, and Pennsylvania. Our commitment? To provide our customers with quality service performed on schedule and at a fair price, which is how TS Electric earned its superior reputation in the industry. Our team specializes in the areas of electrical construction, expansion of existing facilities, and programs. If you need electrical work done for your home or business, contact TS Electric and say you heard it here. TS Electric is offering 25% off a change of service. Give them a call. 740-765-4321. That's TS Electric. County Commissioner Eric Timmons knows how much sports means to the Ohio Valley. Hi, I'm Commissioner Eric Timmons. I'm passionate about local sports and I support our youth in their endeavors. Good luck to all area teams this season. We're back at Weir High School, the Roberta Birdie DeFrancis Field. Middle of the fourth inning. 3 nothing, Indian Creek. 
Beautiful night. How's them, how's them videos going? Anything worthwhile? No, I know. I mean, it's like Trinity Ch Taylor's still pitching. Everybody's still in the same positions for Indian Creek. Dan's going to go over and fix a camera for us. So leading off the bottom of the floor is going to be Kylie Dean for Weir High School. All right, I'll be in touch. I'm going to stop up and see Thank you. Back here, bottom of the fourth. This inning brought to you by Route 22 Sports Bar. Three nothing, Timmy. Then about time for Weir High maybe to make a move. What do you think? Say it's time. Kylie Dean here in the bottom of the fourth. I believe she walked last time. Yep. She's a designated player. That ball is Fine drive. Wow. Great hit. That's a hit in any league. And stand up double. That's a capital recovery extra base hit. I tell you what, she jumped on that pitch. Bella Weber coming to bat. Yeah, it's a. Capital recovery system, extra base hit, and we got two or three of them tonight. Bella Weber, she struck out first time, up left left hander, fouled off. Being more aggressive this at bat. They're working her outside. Coach Aper finds the box at third base, screaming to be aggressive. <laughs> Wanting his girls to be more aggressive. Attack the ball. Ball up. Yes. Lead off double. Let's see if they can do something with this. Yeah. Still working her outside. Glad to see she she's at least going to take that approach to take it that way. They're going to continue to go out there. She's going to have to take it over there. I like it. Go with the pitch. Yep. She tries to pull that. She's going to roll over. Let's see what they do here. Guess Taylor didn't like what, what was called there. Kind of shook her off a little bit. Yeah, they're going to go inside on her here. Yeah, got her. Yeah, yeah, Duffy got her with the electric go. Tell you what, that, that was just good pitching by Taylor. They they worked they worked Weber outside, and then busted a fastball. You know, you on the called inner it, half. Timmy. Yeah. You called it. Ellie Mowry, the right fielder. Pass ball. And some runner. Very big backstop here. I'm sure they, you know, you don't see a lot of pass, pass ball, stolen bases or, or whatnot. Man, I had my catcher come up firing. I know yeah. that. Swing and a miss. Mainly up the bat now. She's 0 for 1. Trinity Taylor, boy, she finding her groove. She's throwing hard. <laughs> up. Going to be out of play. Out. Yep. Sure, Coach Aprofine would like to get this run in at third base. Need it. Need this run. 
cut into that margin. That bat's running out. Trinity Taylor on the mark. We're high needs a run. Swing and a miss, the electric O. Here's Gigi Paladina. So number one. That's Taylor's seventh strikeout on the night. It's only walked two. Look, Gigi Paladina, the third baseman. She struck out first time. Taylor's coming. Good cut. Fouled it off. Aggressive cut. I might have thought about running. I, I was just, Coach, I was just thinking that. I always might have thought yeah. about running there. They was lazy and getting yep. that ball, second baseman. Had her back turned. Get, yeah. Yep. I think we missed one there. Coach Abrafine was talking to the batter. We are high, missed a chance. Tim, I might have took a break, took a shot. That was a foul ball, though, wasn't yes. it? That's a dead ball, then. It, no, I think it was just a high pitch. Danny, that wasn't a foul ball, was it? I think it was just a high pitch. Maybe, I don't know, man. I haven't been painted. <laughs> That's your job, man. Two one count. I, I, I got it right here. It was a it was a foul ball. It, yeah, it was a foul ball. Yep. I so I was kinda wondering why Coach Aperfine was kinda it, it, that's a, it's not like him to not be aggressive down there. Down low, Sadler doing a nice job blocking yeah, it up. Three back one there. count. It'd be bad to get the space runner on here, maybe set up a first, third situation, maybe a play or something to try to score a run. Two outs. Big pitch for Andy Taylor. She comes through with flying colors, throws the ball down the middle, get a strike, full count. Setting up outside on her. Let's see if she can locate this pitch. Yes, sir. The electric go oh. is ever present here for Trinity Taylor as she gets three outs in the inning with the strikeouts. That's at the end of four, three nothing Indian Creek. We'll be right back. Like Mike, who's we getting the portal? Valley Converting, located in Toronto, Ohio, purchases paper products from the public daily. Valley Converting is a manufacturer and converter of 100% recycled paperboard. For information or questions about Valley Converting products and services, contact them at 740-537-2152. Valley Converting is located on South 4th Street in Toronto, Ohio. Take your paper recyclables to them and convert them into cash. Valley Converting is a proud sponsor of this broadcast. All right, we're back here. Top of five is fifth inning. Brought to you by Tudor's Biscuit World. Line drive off the third baseman. Paladinia's good. So Sadler ripped a base hit right off the glove of Paladinia third for a base hit. Base runners. Here's the pitcher, Trinity Taylor. And a base on balls and <laughs> bounce back to the pitcher. Strike coming up ready to throw. Sadler giving a little bit of impression down there. She may be thinking about running. Trying to extend this lead here in the fifth inning. Three nothing Creek. Pass ball. She'll be running there. 
Sadler to second. Ball up. Trinity Taylor has a chance right here to help herself. Get a little insurance run here with a base hit here. Walks her. Good eye. That's her second walk. First and second. Emma Voke up. Single and a strikeout. Betting in that five hole, she get a chance here. Angie Penner, they're gonna have a pinch runner here. Pinch runner for Trinity Taylor. Which will allow Trinity Taylor to take a rest. Utz on the mound, trying to work. Foul ball. Paul Duffy caught that. She was going to try and go down the first. Didn't hit, the, didn't hit her helmet, hit the bat. No outs, first and second. Emma Voke fouled off right side. Weather's changing here, brother. Another one fouled off, staying alive. Fly ball, Hoover's gonna squeeze that at shortstop for the first out. Kirsten Dorsey, she was hit by a pitch and flew out the second. One out, fifth inning, brought to you by Tudor's Biscuit World. Hit her. Hit by a pitch, second time. Bases are loaded. Going to bring up Gibbons, the left fielder. Fielder's choice in the strikeout. So Indian Creek had a chance here to bust this game open. In the first game of a doubleheader. Sports Online, Ray Suckledge, Danny Vogel, and Timmy Provenzano. Swing and a miss. Erica Gibbons, number 15. Ball up. Swing and a miss. Okay, let's see what we got here. Ella Ut trying to hang tough here. Fouled off, bases jammed. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to put anybody. Need an out. 
Queer High needs an out, one out. Preferably a strikeout or a ground ball somewhere. Infield, even with the bags, they could come home on a hard hit ball. Swing and a miss, and that's even better. The electric O strikes again and gets them the second out that they needed for Cadence Walker here, the center fielder. Grounded out to third and grounded out to the pitcher. So Ella Ut trying to get out of this jam if she can be. Think of it, she's going to squeeze it. There you go. She fights her way out of the little pop-up. So at the end of four and a half, three nothing. We'll be right back. Center Strength and Wellness Center is a training facility for both athletes and non-athletes and is located inside the Blue Wave Center in Fallsby, West Virginia. Pete and Ralph have over 10 years experience working at the Division I college level and will create programs to suit clients of all ages while addressing the individual and specific needs and goals of each and every client they work with. Follow Cinna on Facebook and Instagram and get started on a healthier you today. At Poe Financial, Richard Poe can help you with all your financial needs, from retirement planning to investment management. With his expertise and guidance, you can feel confident about your financial future. Richard Poe is a 1971 graduate of Steubenville High School, and he lives out of the area, but he loves the Ohio Valley. Richard Poe wishes good luck to all area teams and is a proud sponsor of this broadcast. Call him at 614-806-2230. That's 614-806-2230. Now we're back here at High Valley Sports Online bringing you high school softball. First game of a doubleheader here. Or Roberta Birdie the Francis Field here on the campus of Weir High School. Hey, Bottom of the five. Coach, they just uh, dedicated this field to her um, during the basketball season. Um, and Superintendent Dan Enich uh, dedicated this field to her. And it's just such a, such a great thing that they had built both of these fields and able to do that and, and whatnot. Two, two beautiful fields up here. The baseball field's gorgeous. Um, you know, the softball field is just it's, it's a game changer. Absolutely. I mean, like uh, – these school districts anymore, you look around, you know, you're making investments in your kids, man. Yep. That's what you're doing. Logan Barton coming up for only the second time. Trinity Taylor has been impressive. I tell you what, Coach, she's got four innings pitch, one hit, uh, two walks, and eight strikeouts. Yeah, we've been seeing some dandies last night. Yes, we have. Brody Saunders from St. Clairsville throws the no-no. Trinity's coming in with one ball down low. First pitch to Logan Barton, the catcher. Trinity Taylor. In the circle. I know we've talked about it before, but, you know, if, if you would have told me she's where she's at right now in, in that first inning, I'd have to say <laughs> It was a long shot, but she's really settled in. Yeah, she has. She settled in. But you know what, Timmy? She settled in quickly. Yes, she did. Because she struggled with a couple batters, couldn't find the strike zone, and then been on a tear ever since then. Angie Penner, I'll tell you, she has had the opportunity to develop some pitchers out there. I believe her daughter's still throwing up at Kent for the Golden Flashes. Pop up. Looks like right it's going to stay in, it looks like. Oh, nope. Had enough spin to get out. Good pitch. Two two count. Trinity Taylor has taken charge. Oh, that 
pitch nice. just missed. Just missed, just missed, Coach. Ah, big Paul Duffy. I'd be arguing with him if I was Coach. <laughs> Squeeze it. Likes to argue, though. He, he, he'll, he'd, he'd bring it right back to you. That's up in the that air. That one's going to stay in. Squeeze it. Get the out. First out. Brooklyn Hawthorne. She popped up to the pitcher last time. Yeah, Brooklyn just coming back. Um, I'm good friends with her dad, Rob, and uh, it's been sick since the beginning of the season. I think this might be her first or second game back. Welcome back, Brooklyn. Weather changing a little bit here, cooling down. Nice pitch. She brought it. Yeah, she's just getting stronger as the game's going on. In the circle. Bouncer. Right back to her. Catch, throw, out. The Brooklyn Hawthorne. Quick work. Now batting, number nine, Eliza Utt. Eliza Utt up. Leading off, she got a base on balls and a air by the second baseman in her first two times up. Gonna try and help herself, but Trinity Taylor is on a roll for Creek. Swing and a miss. And working ahead, just like Saunders did last night. You know, it's it's so important as, as a pitcher to just get ahead in the count. Got two on her. Coach, they, they've really been working the corners on these hitters. And very, I mean, she's been impressed. located, yeah. You get a pitcher that can hit spots like she is right now, it's deadly. Yeah, there it is again. Here you go, the electric goes in action. Alive and well. Three up, three down. At the end of five, Indian Creek Lady Redskins, three. We're high, Lady Red Riders, nothing. Looking for the perfect spot to catch the game? Head on over to Route 22 Sports Bar in Weirton. We're not just a sports bar. We're the benchmark for sports bars in the Ohio Valley and Pittsburgh area. Savor our perfectly cooked bison burgers, fresh salads, and more. Wash it all down with a delicious beverage of your choice. Route 22 Sports Bar, where good food meets great sports. Find us at 3073 Springs Drive, Weirton. Route 22 Sports Bar, your game day destination. Center Strength and Wellness Center is a training facility for both We're athletes back here. and non-athletes and is located inside the Blue Wave Center in Hollinsby, West Virginia. Pete and Ralph. We're back here. Sixth inning. Bouncer. First baseman. Nice job. Coach, I, I, you know, I, I'd had a pretty good day as well. She's uh, pitched five innings uh, so far and, and four hits given up three runs, two earned, uh, three walks, and six strikeouts. You know, it, it's just been timely hits for for Creek. And, you know, and and McKenna Scott, that triple earlier, you know, you take away that hit, that, that scored a run as well. She yep. is so aggressive. I mean, she doesn't mess around in there. Okay, we're in the sixth inning here. This sixth inning is brought to you by Cinna. Health and Wellness Center, located in the Blue Wave building in Fallensby. Bunt, Bad. third base side, Bad. see if she beats it. Oh, nice Bad. play. Wow, Paladina come up th to she get was, the quick moving McKenna Scott. Yeah, she was flying down that line. For the second out of the inning. 
Coach, I got to give a shout out to my daughter at home, Bianca. She's listening right now. I saw Bianca at Olivia's party. Uh huh. And, and uh, starting T ball season here very shortly, which I'm sure you're yeah. well accustomed with that as well. I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm T ball this year. I think I'm coach pitch with Olivia. Okay. And Carlo both. There you go. Graduated up. Yeah. So they, their opening day, they. Uh, found out today that they're going to push it back it was supposed to be thursday they're going to push it back now so she was a little disappointed but she'll be all right they'll get that opening day in yeah thursday bad weather but the high valley sports online remember we got a double header today and we'll be back in action tomorrow as baseball swing baseball game Big Red travels to Brook. Take on Doug Costain's Bruins. Costain in his first year. Going against Freddie Hetherington. The electric O. Got a quick inning there. Nothing wrong with that. Keep him moving, Paul Duffy. Be right back. Trying to find a local, family-owned pharmacy that doesn't treat you like a number, they treat you like, well, you. Visit Hood's Pharmacy. Find them at 971 Main Street in Fallensby. Hood's Pharmacy is family-owned, family-owned for over 50 years. All insurance plans are accepted, and they have COVID-19 testing and vaccination events. No worries there. Hood's Pharmacy features Sarah's Candy, plus a wide selection of greeting cards. Get the friendly hometown service you deserve when you visit Hood's Pharmacy in Fallensby. Come visit the friendly pharmacist and staff at Hood's Pharmacy today, a proud sponsor of this broadcast. We're back here. We're high. Indian Creek got this game in hand, but you know as well as I do, Timmy. With Trinity Taylor moving here, we're high against the wall, but anything can happen. All you need is a hit. Anything you need can a happen. hit to get something started. Absolutely. I'm going to pull up some scores for you here, Coach, from around the valley. Give me a little bit of time. I'll, I'll keep them coming as we go. Scores brought to you by Fort Steuben Maintenance out of town scoreboard. So Brooks, Brook, Brook High School is taking on St. Clairsville tonight. It's 5-4 St. Clairsville in the end of the fourth. Madonna High School is taking on Magnolia. It's 5 to Madonna. Brady Lash going to lead off the uh, sixth inning here. She struck out, grounded out. 0 for 2. Lash, I believe she's a junior. Saw her play basketball. Good basketball player as well. Sings a great nas national anthem rendition. Center field. Last year was a third baseman. I know we're highs at Edison tonight. I'm trying to pull up that score. The strike in your Trinity Taylor starts off the way you should. Get ahead. One strike. All right, let's see what we got here. Trinity Taylor, Brayley Lash. Fly ball, foul left. She got that one. She got a hold of that. A little bit out front, boy. She hit that one a long way foul. Oh, 
go between innings. We'll take a we'll take a short break between games. Uh, we'll be off the air for a few minutes, but we'll be right back on. Yeah. Swing and a miss. The electric O strikes again for the first out. Raina Hoover, she struck out and flew out. A nice play by McKenna Shaw, Scott over the shoulder catch. Oh, good change. Swing and a miss. Six inning brought to you by Cinna Health and Wellness Center in Fallensby. Go see Pete and Ralph. Tell them you heard it here on High Valley Sports Online and get yourself a discount on their membership. Tell them Raymond and Dan sent you in there and you get a discount. That's Pete and Ralph at Cinna Health and Wellness Center in Fallensby. In the Blue Wave Center. I just got the Edison score up. Looks like Weir is beating Edison 11 to nothing in the bottom of the fifth. That game should be over. Yeah, so 11 to nothing. Ball down. Trinity Taylor wanted that pitch. Paul Duffy said no. Remind everybody, we're going to be at Brook High School in the baseball field tomorrow. High Valley Sports Online, 5 o'clock game. Yeah, Raina's sister, Reagan Hoover, is his, uh, was a second team OVAC All-State honorable mention. Got a base on balls there, and Raina Hoover got base runners. Kylie Dean, designated player. Well, she had that drive down the left field line, her last at bat for a double. Yeah, big double. Jumped on that first pitch. Big double, big hit. Uh, Fouled she, off. She was she was on that. Yeah, Hoover was off and running. Yeah. All the coaching going on there. There he is. Baseball, <laughs> Joe Aperfine. He sees it too. They've been they've been working the outer half. That's what he that's what he just told her. Want They're her set to up outside run. again. Yeah. Yep. Back to third baseman up a little bit. Wind up. Bouncer. That's going to get through. Base hit. Hoover's going to hold it second. And the Riders got something going. It looks like they tried to come inside to her. She pulled it down. Past the third baseman, diving third baseman, and shortstop. Bella Weber. She struck out twice, the first baseman. And Aubrey put Weir High right back in this game here. Down 3 nothing in the bottom of the sixth. Runners first and second, one out. Ball off. What's up? Yeah, they've been working Bella outside, too. They worked her two pitches outside and, and then busted her in. Her last at bat. Still working that outer corner on her. A little bit too far outside. Well, I, I, if you're Della Weber here and you're weir high, man, you got to be selective. You got to find something you can drive, man. And to account, to figure she's going to have to come at her here. Yep. Got to throw a strike. 
Ball down. 3-0, I'm definitely giving her a take sign here. You need base runners at this point. Got the pitch. Yep. Sure. Right down. Take. Memory lane. Memory lane. Three one count. I figure they're probably going to go right back, right back at her here. See where the catcher sets up. Yeah, I don't think you want to put anybody else on, man. Nope. I mean, the tying run at the plate. Yeah. Set up inside on her. Three two. It's a big pitch right here. Wind kicking up. Got Base it. Base hit. Yep. Got one run in. Uh, out of third. Yep. Good play. So Bella Weber gets a base hit and an RBI. Yeah, it was a tough one. You know, Coach April Fine was, was signaling when the uh, – Runner at second to round third and go home and looked up and, and it looked like, it, you know, she was just right there. She got caught up. Good cut in the middle of the field. Way to get that out. Yeah, good job by McKenna Scott. Shortstop cut the ball. Makes the throw to third base to get the runner. Going to retire Kylie Dean and Bella Weber moves the second on the throw. Coach Penner out on the mound with a Mario's Italian restaurant mound visit. Tell you what, that's a that's an excellent mound visit with two outs. Runner at second. Ali Mowry. 0 for 2 with a strikeout. Bouncer to McKenna Scott is short. Trinity Taylor. Gave up one here. Fouled off, good cut. The right fielder, Maori. Weber's taking a healthy secondary out there. Trinity Taylor has not lost control, though. She is bearing down, trying to get this third out. Down low. Bella Web Weber, she delivered the big knock to get Weir High on the scoreboard. Yeah, it was a little bit of an inning killer getting thrown out at third there. That was very ill-advised. I'll tell you what, though. 3-1 count. You can turn this back over. Get runners at first and second again. Yep. Don't know if a base knock will score, Bella. That's a question on how strong the arms are. There it is. Walker. Aladina, two strikeouts on the night. The electric O's been there. The electric O, Debo Saber, and the electric O, calling. The residential. We're business wise. Electrical work, quality electrical work, the electric O. Gigi Paladin, yeah, the third baseman. Hey, 
Taylor on the pitch, inside the circle. Fouled off, excuse me, swing. Oh, two, let's see what she goes with here. Look like fast balls. Maybe something off speed, probably set up outside. Pavadina steps out. That's a stoppage and play brought to you by Mario's Italian Restaurant. Trinity back in the circle. Yeah, setting up outside, the catcher setting up. Popped up, out of play, dived in. Right. <laughs> okay, Paladino looking for a knock here. Two still looked like she threw a fastball that last pitch. Let's see if she can change up. Even at the bags, first and third defensively. Setting up outside again. Fastball. Three one. Bottom of six. Just up just a little bit. Tough pit right there. 2-2 two, two count. Weather changing. Swing and a miss. Paladinia and the electric O. They get one. The six, three one, Indian Creek. If you want a plush green lawn, who doesn't? Call Bradley Lawnscape and Sons today. They do lawn fertilizing, getting your year round healthy grass. And they control weeds no dandelions, crabgrass, clover, or other undesirable weeds. Bradley Lawnscape and Sons, better results guaranteed. BradleyLandscapes.com, a proud sponsor of this broadcast. When it comes to Ohio Valley Sports Online would like to thank one of our great sponsors, Capital Recovery Systems. Capital Recovery Systems is home of the no-cost court collections program. Capital Recovery Systems is a proud sponsor of this broadcast. We're back here, Ray Succotch, Timmy Provenzano, Danny Vogel bringing the first of a doubleheader here at Weir High in the Roberta DeFrancis ball field. Indian Creek 3-1. Ground nice ball, nice Hoover, play. shortstop. Wow. Nice play by Hoover. Went to her left, strong throw to get Riley Sadler. Quality effort. Right there. Trinity Taylor, the pitcher. Hoover plays a clean shortstop. Yes, she does. A really good job collecting herself, set her feet, and stuck that throw. The seventh inning brought to you by the Wintersville Trophy Shop. Big Bobby Merriman. Trinity Taylor takes a strike. Bob Merriman at Wintersville Trophy Shop. Ella Udd hanging tough for Weir High Lady Riders on the mound. Oh, Bank man. drive. Uh, had a chance. Yeah, hit Brayley Lash on yep. the wrist, I think, didn't it? Yep. Or in the leg. Got her in the leg, it looks like. I tell you, that was a line drive. That Trinity was. Taylor hit a rocket. 
the ball was stung. Tough play to make out there. That ball's come right, it was right at her knees pretty much the whole way out there. Yeah, that's her first hit. I think she's gonna have a pinch runner here. Bouncer, third base, Pavadinha throws a second. Oh, oh. Hawthorne, got her. Give it to her. It looks like PT's gonna go out and talk to Hodge. I think Paul Duffy's gonna get involved here. Emma Voke hit the yeah. one hopper. Did you get the out at second for yeah, Trinity yeah. Taylor? That's going to be five to four for the second out. It looked like she had possession of that, and then as, as she was coming off the bag, she kind of hit the ground and it fell out of her hand. So I can I can kind of see. Kirsten Dorsey, the second baseman, up two outs. Top of seven. Swing and a miss. John Brody keeping everybody in the ground ball right side. Hawthorne up. Good play. Throws, gets the out. Okay. Here we are. They got a hit. The seventh. They got a hit. No run. 3 1 after six and a half. We'll be coming back for the finale. This is a High Valley Sports Online. When it comes to your health, every moment counts. That's why Capital Health Home Care in Steubenville is here for you. Our team of experienced healthcare professionals is dedicated to providing you with the highest quality of care in the comfort of your own home. With CMS certified home health care since 1982, we accept a variety of insurance to make sure you get the care you need. From home nursing care to physical, occupational, and speech therapy, we offer a wide range of services to meet your needs. At Capital Health Home Care, we believe that your health and happiness go hand in hand. That's why we're committed to keeping you healthy and happy every step of the way. So why wait? Call Capital Health Home Care in Steubenville today at 740-264-8815 to learn more about how we can help you live your best life. Capital Health Home Care, as your health is our top priority. All right, we're back here for the seventh. Ray Suckwatch, Timmy Provenzano, Danny Bogle. Remember, we'll be at Brook tomorrow as Steubenville Big Red baseball team comes to town. And Thursday, weather permitting, trying to get a full weekend here for you. Shady side goes to the legendary Vaquero Field on the Crusaders at Catholic Central High School. We're Hyde's last crack here, down 3 1 in the bottom of the seventh. Sending brought to you by Wintersville Trophy Shop. Looks like Logan. Barton. No, it's going to be a pinch hitter. See if we got her. 14. Update on that Brook. Clairsville score is 7 to 5. Brook. No, no hitter tonight for St. Clairsville, coach. We saw a dandy last night. We're high. Here we go. 14 is not on there. There you are, Saint Logan Barton. That's what I said. Logan Barton. <laughs> I said that. You did, Coach. You had it. Logan Barton. Mm -hmm. Trinity Taylor, who has pitched a dandy. I got her for 11 strikeouts. I got 11 strikeouts and three hits. Fouled off. So pitching always takes precedence over good thing, I believe. Pretty crucial to get this this leadoff runner on. I agree. 
popped up. Catcher. Tough play. Nice, nice play. Great nice job. play. Who was that? Riley Sadler makes the adjustment over the shoulder. Great job. Gets that first out of the inning. Brooklyn Hawthorne going to now. She's grounded out twice. I'm sorry, popped up and grounded out. Trying to get her to the top of the order, Ella Utt. So Brooklyn's trying to get on any way she can now to bring the tying run to the plate. That's her goal is to get on. Right down the, the middle. Ball inside. Fouled off. Sadler doing a nice job behind the dish. Yes, she is. I think she caught one right there, though. Good job coming up out of the box. Over the shoulder catch for the first out of the inning. Two strikes, one ball. Yeah. Gather with the electric go, strikes back. Set up outside again. And she's just painting that outer half. That's 12 on the night. What an effort. I want to remind you, we're going to take a quick break here between games. We'll be back on here, uh, get things going in this second game. Swing and a miss. Ella Ott. She's 0 for 2 with a walk. Yes. Yeah, setting up outside again. The first pitch is outside. Just working away from these hitters. She definitely had a plan coming in. I'll tell you she that, did. Timmy. There's no doubt. Well-schooled. Coach Penner had her ready. Creek looking to move to six and three on the year with a win here. Where highs at eleven and five after playing six games down south at the Ripken Fields. I want to thank Mike Orb, Tom Way, and Eric Schmidt. For coming on, spreading some wisdom about the Miracle Field, which is awesome for the community. I tell you, when you can have all that inclusive things with all, with everybody being served, it's a beautiful thing. And High Vibe Sports on proud to support them and give them any air time that they want to get their word out. Big endeavor Tom Way has under, undertaken. Fouled off. A lot, hanging tough. Pitch. Setting up on that outside still. She, she hit, hit that corner again. Trinity Taylor just keeps on coming. Full count. Two outs, bottom of the seventh. Three, one, Creek. Popped out of play. Ball bias here, coach. I got it. Throw it right in this little ball baby there, and we're good. You 
See where she sets up. She's already leaning outside. Taylor pitched a well of a ball game here. Fouled off. I'm hanging tough. Two down, three one. Trinity takes, walks out of the circle, compose herself. Come on back in, getting ready to fire. Inside the circle, she's a beast. Oh yes. Oh, he walked her. Duffy didn't call the swing. Uh, Keeps things alive. Brittany Lash, the center fielder. I'm surprised they didn't. Yeah, they didn't. now they're going down to Georgia to see if she did or not. And way to hold back on that. Lash. Four fifty sevens to play. When you figure that out, you let me know. <laughs> That's the good thing about wristbands. Swing and a miss. Just call a number out. They all look down at the wristband, and they got the play right there. There you go. Brady Lash, 0 for 3 on the night. Where I could use a base hit here, keep things going. Bring up Hoover. Oh, two. All right, like I said, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back in what, Danny, 10 minutes? 10 to 15 minutes, whatever it is between games. We'll be back with the second game. Popped up out of play. It's going to get out. Yep. We'll be Lady Bruins. So Lash hanging tough. See if she comes back to something off speed. There are two fastballs already setting up outside. Oh, just down. Hoover running, uh, running, nothing there, advances. Take a wild pitch. Ella picked up a base. Brady Lash may score. I'd send her. Fly ball, right field. Yeah, it's moving on her. Wow. Yes, absolutely. Yep. Hoover's going to score. A lot of trouble out there. Yeah, the ball had Leah lost, Duke. Man. Spinning away from her. Hoover's going to score. Going to make it 3 2. Lashes at second. That was an E9. See if Hoover hits. 3 2. Tie the game up. We have shame. Be a dirty shame after the game that Trinity has pitched. Oh, Fly ball like again. Pretty close. This, this one's to the second baseman, though. Yep. We're going to shut it down there as Hoover flies out. That's going to end it here. 3-2. Creek moves to 6-3. and three. Weirheim drops to 11-6. and six. High Valley Sports Online. We're going to take a quick break. Be off. We're going to uh, be off the air for a little bit. And we're going to come back with the second game as give the Bruins a chance to get ready. We'll be right back. 